Guys, just have a pan. This is a really cool setup you got, but I'm just getting a kick out of all the plantings here. We have every plant needed, Kenan, for these animals, from Mexican petunias to hibiscus. Hold on a second. Oh, Here, yeah. Here's a gorgeous radiated tortoise just hanging out. Oh, smokes, guys. So cool to hang out and see how different keepers do it. Like you, I mean, these are my family. That's yeah. a big old boy. Wow. Look at this, though, but the shell. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. 50 years old. What a good-looking dude. I love this complex. This is just like a really well-done self-contained area and it keeps things manageable, huh? Guys, Some of the girls. look at them. A little gem. That is awesome. Guys, I'm getting ideas. I see the way they build these. All right, people, as promised, we are getting out there, showing you more tortoise keepers out here in the world. Rick Roperto has been kind enough to let me. He's a pretty private guy, but we're gonna go see some really cool tortoises that he's got, so that's what we're about today. All right, Rick. <laughs> Sorry, bro. No, it's my fault. <laughs> we're, we're having a good time. Yeah, man. Uh, so what's going on here, man? You, you, you love tortoises, apparently, but these are rescues. Yeah, all these in here, Kenan, are rescues. They've come from all over the country. Um, yeah, this one here, nine months, these two have been in tube feeding, you name what? it, everything. They should have been gone many times, and they're finally eating on their own today, this That's morning. Incredible! You see the hibiscus in here, and yeah. some of the Mexican petunias. So much stuff. work, man! It's Commitment. a lot of work, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but a beautiful tortoise, man. Nice cherry yeah, head, man. right? Yeah, beautiful. Couldn't let this guy go. I hope he pulls through. Yeah, we're we're hanging in there for All sure. Right. Very cool, man. It's awesome that you're doing that. I mean. This guy's got, you know, Rick, this is an amazing, amazing area of the world you live in and just beautiful, look at all these plants. Um, we were talking, we had lunch earlier and we were kind of discussing, you know, I moved to Florida 18 years ago, you're two years in and he, you're on about three acres? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's a lot of work, isn't it? Rick? Yeah, out yeah. here it's crazy. Uh, I've been down here 27, but two here come March at this place and you're right it is i'm here three four hours a day working oh my gosh in this place i just i'm looking at all these enclosures guys just have a pan this is a really cool um setup you got because um your tortoises are are kept within this area and is that so that you can keep eyes on them predator safe all that stuff absolutely and if you look to we got cams we got six or seven cameras wow. all around here on alert at all times you can see over here, there looks like a little action. Yeah, check okay. this out. This is so cool. And it's okay for us to walk yeah, out? Oh, please, please, go ahead. Awesome, man. Again, guys, uh, so cool to kind of um, hang out and see how different keepers do it. Uh, look at all the different plantings. He's got beautiful plants here. Again, very active uh, red foot tortoises here. Are these the red foots or cherry heads? These are cherry heads. These yeah. are cherry heads. Yeah. yeah, look at that. You can tell by the black plastron. Okay, real nice color in there. Uh, very cool, dude. So uh, you are friends with Sean, our, uh, the tort king, and I'm seeing a lot of similar, yeah. you've borrowed from each other, it seems like, uh, yeah. you know, the Rubbermaid enclosures here. Um, you know, you can lock the doors if you don't want them to go in, I guess, but that's really cool. But I'm just getting a kick out of all the plantings here. Yeah, a lot you, of work. Yeah, you know, we did this, in, and Sean, as you know, is big like I am. We, we have every plant needed, Kenan, for these animals from mexican petunias to hibiscus to we got papayas over here the cactus you'll see all that we could just snap and throw them right in the perfect the, you know we do that and and i love the mexican petunias because they're like automatic feeders well let they me drop see i've never day. seen them man oh actually. you haven't seen them okay no so, talk to well me. right now i pulled a lot of them off and i fed them but you'll see, see over here but here they are here oh, hold on a second oh, here yeah. here's a gorgeous radiated tortoise just hanging out Bedford, go ahead and grab him. Oh my gosh, look at this beauty. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous tortoise. Holy smokes, guys. How awesome is it to just kind of be talking about plants and then I'm distracted by this pretty, <laughs> I mean, look at their striations here and the radiations uh, all coming out on each scoot. That's, that's like a perfect, you had this one since it was a baby? Or? No, I got them from Navy Blue Torts, my friend Sean wow. Myers up in uh, Palacta. Wow. Uh, we got eight of them. Gorgeous. Three three males okay. uh, and, and the five females. Uh, that's Thedford. He's unbelievable. He's gained a lot of weight just recently. He's now, are you still, sh are you yeah. showing us the Mexican petunia? Yeah, these okay, are that's Mexican what petunias okay. right here. If you look, and I'll show you in the front. Um, oh, wow. You know, I, I plant them in the perimeter so I can grab them, but these are Mexican petunias as well. They'll 
produce flowers every day and they'll just drop. And, and so the they tortoises just eat, like the flowers. They love it. And they'll even eat the leaves Will and leave everything. Leaves? Oh, awesome. absolutely. Very cool. Yeah, absolutely. I got to look into that. Kate, my wife, is always asking me to plant more flowers. So maybe I can get some of these. Absolutely. And then uh, they serve two purposes, actually. The beautiful thing about them, Kenny, you just cut them, put them right in the ground. They just grow. Really? Yeah, so oh, I'll get you awesome. some, whatever. It awesome. Is. Yeah, Thank you so absolutely. much. Absolutely. Yeah, you bet. So cool. So is this the radiated enclosure? This is the radiated here. There, That's Templeton over there. <laughs> you know lighter. everyone's name. Oh, just... yeah. Well, you, when you're out here yep. all the time, but like you, I mean, these are my family. I've named four of the, the radiated since I've had them. That's Templeton. Look at Templeton. He's a male. And then over here is Mason. Yeah, so that's that for wow. Templeton. He's something else. Oh, you got to look at this black racer right here, guys. Come here. <laughs> yeah. Right here. Look at this racer. There he goes. There he goes. Well, that's a fast snakey. <laughs> awesome, man. You got so much cool wildlife out here. That's great. It's, it's phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. So you see here the Mexican petunias here. They'll drop and... and wow, um, so cool. Yeah. Again, though, he's got cameras everywhere. Uh, and that's just obviously for theft or, or just keeping eyes on if they're going to lay eggs. These are kind of Absolutely. young to lay eggs, but wow, that is, yeah. look at these radiators are beautiful, man. Yeah, we got more coming in and we're excited. And um, we also have uh, a see. Pakistani uh, mulberry tree right here. Oh, cool. And so I, I need to water it more. I don't know what's going on, but um, these will grow. My friend Sean turned me on to these. He gave me a couple of these. Okay, I, see, yeah. I got some. So and you can see excited. over here, that's me trimming and they're going so oh, very we'll cool. be planting more of those as well they love those leaves and uh yeah it's a great great tree see whenever you become a tortoise keeper you also become something of a, a botanist <laughs> as well because these guys are going to eat everything you grow which yep. is really nice here you go there you go yeah little hibiscus the hibiscus over there that's so cool yeah and so over here i'm working this over here this this used to be an old quarantine pen i just left it sodded here we're working i'm not sure what i'm gonna do yet but i got some uh elongateds in here right now oh i love those species. and uh these are some of my favorite matter of fact here's one of the males bill he's big he let's see get him. Mm -hmm. get him out for you oh yeah that's a good size male yeah wow yeah he's good that's yeah. a big old boy wow very cool guys check him out look at how long those legs are man Really long legs. These guys wow. live in Southeast Asia and into uh, Indonesia as well. Mm -hmm. And they can climb very well. They can move around well with these long legs. Look, he's a little high. Let's get him low. But look at this, guys. So look at the size of that tail. And they have that little keratinous nail, if you will, right at the tip of it. And that helps clasp on uh, to the female. And then, of course, he's able to copulate with her. Uh, this is a nice tortoise, man. Um, you know, it's so funny. It's I, I haven't met anyone else who likes elongateds as much as I have, um, which is kind of cool because they're traditionally um, a very, they're not the most colorful tortoise, but what I like about them is they are hardy. They oh, do yeah. well, lower temps they can take, high humidity, they love it. Um, and for me, it's just about keeping animals that I know I'm not gonna have a lot of drama with. Yeah, yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. I, I love these animals. Next to the radiators, they're my favorite. I, mean, so I just cool. love them. That's so cool to hear. Yeah, man. they're I cool to work with. And uh, I got some of the, they're probably a year out uh, females. I got two females in here. This oh, yeah. is a small one. Uh, this is Tabby. Tabby, what's up? Yeah, awesome. Tabby there. That's so cute. And that night? she's a sweetheart. Love her. Yeah, beautiful tortoise. Yeah, I got this one from Sean uh, years ago. Wild. Yeah. It's a nice enclosure too. Yeah, and, and you know, we had the hurricanes, Kenan, and all that. And you know, one thing down here, the water flows down into here. Okay. Cold, so gotta be cautious with that. I wonder if, oh, there here's Kip. Now, Look at that. Kip is a female. <laughs> We thought we were hoping it'd be a male, but it's a female. There's Kip. So interesting to see, like mine are so, it's just amazing to see how dark these are. I have some light ones, but there's so much variation in the coloration yep. of elongated tortoises as well. Um, really great species, guys. If you're looking for a smaller species to work with, if you're, you know, don't have a lot of space, these are definitely something you should look into. Wow, that is awesome, man. Yeah, she's put on a lot of weight Yeah, she well. feels really yeah, nice and heavy. Again, tortoises should feel heavier than they look, uh, but that's beautiful. I like that darkness to her. That's really awesome, man. Yeah, and so, and then over here, I have um, a couple other uh, elongated, which they've been breeding. 
Uh, but over here is where I have also a lot of cactus. Yep, the cactus, you yeah, know, very cool. You keep it away from them. Yep, and then you just break it, chop it, it right throw. In. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So we have over here one of our females. Hopefully, I'll find her. There she is. Look at her. Yeah. Now yeah. oh, that now that looks more like the what ones I have. have. Yeah, yeah, real light. Um, some of them have no black at all. Yeah. So it's pretty interesting. Yeah, that's awesome, man. And she's out here just getting some sun right she now. She just laid like. Oh really? Uh, like four or five days ago oh very five cool. eggs so yeah and i'm trying to find the male my 50 year old you He's have a 50 year old elongated yeah he was from uh vic morgan's and um and uh i'll see if i can find him he's around here somewhere vic Sorry. morgan is actually the uh menoria or mountain tortoise king and guru uh shout out to vic good dude Oh yeah, very cool. Very he got into cool. a little bit of a wow a, a, a boxing match with this guy when I was working in there. It just took minutes, and they were going at it. Whoa. And I got him, but he's fine. Look he's at this though, but the shell. Look at that, guys. Real blonde. Very That's unbelievable. really cool. Yeah, he's cool. Holy very light. Smokes. Man. Very active. Oh my gosh, fifty years old. What a good-looking dude, man. He's almost. I'm almost his age. He's my age. He's your <laughs> age. Look at that. <laughs> we we roll together here at the yes. yeah. Look at, at that the ranch. Oh, that's great. That is really cool looking tortoise, man. That's beautiful. Uh, again, can't say enough good about this species. You Love them. Um, very very cool. Holy smokes. Awesome stuff, dude. Such long arms. Yeah, Unreal. that's incredible. And of course, any of the turtles or tortoises in Southeast Asia, um, under threat. Yeah. Uh, a lot of habitat loss, collection for the food trade, uh, things like that. In fact, my group came out of Vietnam. Wow. Uh, years ago in the 90s. And um, yeah, they're just, uh, they're doing very well. Hardy animals. And once they were all worked up and taken care of, <laughs> uh, they're just, I would say bulletproof. Just a really awesome species. So that is fantastic. I love this complex, man. This is this is just like a really well done, uh, self-contained area, and it keeps things manageable, huh? Yeah, it's a lot of work, but we yeah. still. I mean, I'm out here every day, hours and That's hours. Cool. And yeah, so. now your job is, you know, you, you're motivated. Yeah. Motivated. You've been like a, a, I wouldn't say life coach, but you've trained athletes yep. on how to yep. perform better. Which, I, you know, I got to talk to this guy because <laughs> sometimes at mile, you know, 75, yep. you doubt oneself. I do a lot of bike riding, people, but that, believe it or not. The guy behind the camera is also a great coach, too. The right funny on. thing about Matt is the reason, uh, why not tell the story? Yeah, why not? The, the reason that Matt and I became friends is because I'd be in the middle of a bike race and I'd hear a disembodied voice in the middle of a trail <laughs> during the bike race, keep breathing, and keep pedaling. And that's how Matt and I became friends. Uh, and of course, we ride together. But I, I appreciate that. And what is it about, um, you know, you seem like we're almost kindred spirits in a way, yeah. very high energy. Um, what is it about the tortoises? That, that you love yeah you know i'm out here every day it, it they teach me so much on everything every aspect of like just being you know calm yeah. consistent yeah. patient you know yes. humility i mean i'll go out here and i'll watch one of these guys staring at a tree for like hours i'm like what is he thinking yeah you know it's like sometimes you got to slow it down and so these guys give me that opportunity to slow down uh in the fast-paced world that we're in yeah that's that's exactly you, know? you nailed it i mean yeah. that's something that i you know i was such an add kid that when i i just found myself um enamored by the steadfastness and it's like aesop's fable you know yep. slow steady wins the race yep um these animals have been slow and steady for millions of years uh and they do there's so much that this type of animal can teach us uh, and why I, I really appreciate the fact that you're doing such good work saving some of these animals because yeah. as we know, if you're following along on this channel, uh, the most endangered air breathing vertebrates on earth are turtles and tortoises because they're so steadfast yep. and they don't change much. Um, we kind of draw lines with roads and mm -hmm. cut through habitat. Uh, so it's really cool to see that you've created this really beautiful, I would almost say a little meditation garden of tortoises. It's a sanctuary. Huh? Yeah, very <laughs> cool. Uh, just love the plants. Everything's edible here for these guys. Yep. Just, just amazing, man. I could see how you get lost in here. This is a great example of the Mexican petunias, the white colors, the okay. white, um, and there's purple. Okay. They'll just drop and they'll eat every they'll day. Get, they'll collect right towards. Yeah, yeah I don't. I'm not. Yeah, you know, I want my tortoises to work <laughs> a yeah. little bit. You know, I'm not. 
you know, and so that's it, actually you know, that's you know that's a really good point is yeah. um, you know the enrichment. People will look at a tortoise or a reptile in general and think they're dim-witted animals. Um, they just have a different pace to life. Yep. And so um, when you're giving the animals the enrichment like you're doing here, all right, which is what I want all of us to strive for. Um, and some of you that might be young people that maybe live with your parents, okay? Mm -hmm. You haven't attained this yet. It's totally possible. Uh, you know, you just stay on the path, work hard, and you will have your own meditation tortoise garden. Uh, but why I like this kind of setup is it really does benefit the animal. All the animals that we've seen are just super, uh, you know, acclimated. Yep. They're moving around. They're they're in these little microclimates like the radiated we found yep. where in the Mexican petunia. Yep. Waiting for you know that's the cool thing you say about patients. Yep. Uh, they just wait for the flower to drop, and <laughs> hey, look, dinner comes to me. So cool. Um, yeah. Really, hats off as far as you know this whole enclosure. Um, how, so two years in this property? Yeah, two years. March. Uh, wow. We've been you here. Got a lot, a lot of work. This was all woods. Like where we're standing, there was no grass. It was woods. Wow. It was this, this is, over here. This is incredible. Yeah. Let's, let's wander a little bit. Yeah, more. you bet. Um, I love just the fact you, you, know, you make use of all these different plastic, uh, you know, potting. Uh, well, that's like a pond, I think. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> just a, a prefab pond from a local home improvement center, and you turned it into a hide. Um, during the cold snaps. Uh, what have you done? Did you pull the animals in or do you have heaters on here? So um, I have heated hides in here. I got a 50 inch uh, mounted to the top cane okay. heat mats. I've been work. I've, I've used cane heat mats, Kenan, for years. Okay. Love them. What I always say is got to be mounted at the top though. Yeah. You know, some people, they put them on the bottom. I don't, I don't. It seems to draw a lot of uh, the fire ants will seem yeah. to collect. And then to be honest, it can get too hot uh, and they'll overheat. Yep. So you've got. You and that's got, just a, an igloo there. Yeah. What I'll do is sometimes I'll go ahead and put it right up against the door. Okay. And so if they, it's a little too warm, they want to go out, they'll go in there. It's still warm ah, enough. And I have, cool. I regulate everything. But but normally the setups are like this here. Check it out. You know, everything's double insulated. Oh, there's some of the girls in there. Look at this. Yeah, these are Guys, some of the girls. look at them. Oh my gosh, may I pick oh, one up? Oh, please, grab. Oh grab. my gosh, look at this beauties. Holy smokes, man, they're little gems. That is awesome. Perfect shells. Uh, just, I love the coloration on their legs there. And I'm gonna have a look. Yeah, look at that beautiful plaster on. Just, just awesome, man. And look at this, you've got, you know, cameras in here. And is that in case, I mean, gosh, you're pretty, you're pretty thorough, man. You got the cameras in there. Uh, in case one flips over, upside Everything. down, or yeah, yeah I'm anything. alerted. I have, uh, you know, different um, meters to measure the, you know, the temperature, humidity. Wow. This here is the cane heat mat. Yep. It's up awesome top, mounted up top. You know, double insulated. Um, it, this thing's nice and warm. That's so. really cool. Yeah, well done, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah yep. that's awesome. And again, guys, I'm getting ideas. I see the way they build these, and it's basically, you know, you have your siding, and then you glue your insulation to the side. That's it. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's an expensive too route to go. Yeah. Um, sometimes I've overbuilt. Uh, <laughs> that's yeah. what I did with this 12 footer. Here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I see. So. Yeah. Yeah. But again, like you know the. This looks like it was some kind of chicken coop or something, or a doghouse. Right? Yeah, it was just something that I got uh, That's awesome. uh, and uh, repurposed. Yeah, it. exactly. That's really great. So, but they sometimes it. go in there. Yep. Wow. And th these are your hatchling. Uh... Yeah, these are some of the babies that we've had. What? Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah, these are some wow. of the babies. And, no way. And, uh, similar setup to Sean's. Piece. Yeah, similar. And then mm. great yes. ideas yep. work. Yeah, the cane heat with the flange here to yep. keep them. And sphagnum and, moss that's yeah. nice and moist in well, there. Yeah, I got to moisten up more here. Yeah, so, but uh, yeah, that's that pretty awesome. cool. Yep. Really well done. I love it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below what you think of Rick's setup here. Uh, and, and you know, do you like when I go out and visit other keepers to get these ideas? Let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to do it. I, I've been a while at my house and uh, we're starting to get out there again. Yeah. And the cool thing is, is that a lot of these keepers are pretty close to where I live. They're within about 20 mile radius. So very cool to meet uh, like-minded individuals that live so close because you never know how, now that I know these guys are here, sometimes I get animals that I can't take. Uh, maybe they want some and we could form a good group of people that mm -hmm. do the right thing for the animals uh, and just really get it popped up. Well, before we leave, I want to see this. If that's yeah, 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 you bet. You said you overbuilt it. No, I, you over now, I may blow out a, a shoulder. Okay. I've got one of those too for my silk cottage. Yeah. It takes a lot of strength to lift yeah, it. Yeah, this is built. That's awesome. Yeah, but this thing, 
I mean, it's heated up. I mean, once it heats up, it's good to go. Yeah, that's awesome. Those cane mats, man. Uh, yeah. Where are you sourcing them? Right from Kane? Yeah, himself? yeah. Okay. Scott from Kane. They're great, great people to work with. Okay, okay. awesome. Just good folks. Very great cool. service. All right, guys. Well, there you have it, man. I think we have uh, really had a fun time here. Uh, you know, do you offer any of your animals for sale as far as babies or no? No, just pure... this is just my my thing. That's you know? awesome, man. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, <laughs> he has nothing to promote except his love of tortoises, which I think is amazing. So uh, let us know if you appreciate what he's doing here. If you uh, got something from this video, let me know in the comments below. And as always, be kind to your animals and uh, let's keep pushing these animals into the 21st century with our own little hands. All right, guys. Pleasure, Nate. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Thanks for coming. I'll see you guys.